What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing it. We're doing the skincare declutter. Uh, I'm super excited. So we're going to go through my skincare drawers. I have a bunch of stuff up here at the top that is from the Shit That Don't Fit Project Pan. Uh, we're going to get to that stuff too. Well, I, I mean that's part of skincare. So we're going to get to that stuff too. So here's the deal. Um, obviously I have a lot of skincare type products. I don't know how well you can see that. I have a lot of skincare type products. I'm going to move you guys closer so you can see a little bit better. But I only have one face. And right now I have too many skincare products. I cannot use them all before they all go bad. So I need to declutter some of them. And it sucks. And I hate it. And like, yes, I'm still getting my subscription box with, skin, with skincare. But I really want to narrow down what I have to try to make it an amount that I might actually be able to use. So I have these little organizers from Target uh, that I picked up a couple videos ago, like when I was doing, you know, in, in, in like my first declutter in this little mini series. Uh, anyways, I have these bins and I'm going to try to fit like f maybe four to a drawer and then keep this skincare in the categories that fills them up, I think. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to have to see. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump in and we're going to get started. Okay, so the first drawer I have is facial sprays and toners. I'm going to start here and I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to see how many like bins I can fit in here and then I'm going to see if that's actually what I want to do or if that was just like a really good idea in my head that's just really shitty in execution. So I can fit four but then I still have a bunch of empty space and I don't know how I feel about that. I mean I guess it would help keep it organized wouldn't it? Let me start filling them up with the stuff that like I know I want to keep and we'll kind of go from there. This is really interesting. Um, I don't know how much I love. I kind of do like this. It's way more organized now and the issue is when they're all just like lined up in rows. Like, this drawer, they move a lot and they shuffle and they're it's just never really organized. Um, these little bins, I know you guys can't really see this drawer. Um, you'll be able to see the rest of them. But these little bins actually make it a lot easier to organize them. So I'm going to show you guys what the drawer looks like. These little bins make it so much easier because they're all kind of secure. There's stuff that fits like around them. And so there's, I can fit four less in this drawer than I was able to. Everything else can fit. And honestly, I probably could actually fit more in there. Like, I could fit this one if I really wanted to. But this is the Yes 2 Daily Exfoliating Tonic. And I don't really care about this. Um, and I don't like these little pump tops. So I'm going to let that one go. Maybe I'll add in that one because I do like that one. Do you see what I mean, though? Like, so I can still get a lot to fit. I think I do like this, actually. Okay, so let's talk about what I am passing along. The Yes 2... Uh, daily exfoliating tonic. Obviously, that one's going to get passed along. Um, this made a Pora hydrating mist. Um, it's going to get passed along. The Pure Lease pink charcoal and watermelon face mist. Both of these actually, actually all three of these, because I'm also going to pass along this, the Skin & Co truffle face toner. All three of these came from subscription boxes, and now they're all going to go. I also have this little basket of sprays, the Pearl Essence Coconut Water Grace and Stella Spray All Day. Ole Henriksen Grease Relief. This one I might end up keeping because this is a really nice spray. And then Elf and Every Day for Everybody, all of these are gonna get passed along. I don't use facial spray like that much and I don't really feel the need to like have a whole lot of them. Um, and then I've got more toners and stuff up here, but I will get to that. We're gonna do that last. Obviously I'm gonna go through as much as I can, um, but for the most part, that'll be done last. And then look at this, I can just pop it right back there. Oh, so now we're going to talk about serums and oils. This drawer houses all of my serums and all of my oils. Um, <laughs> there's a lot and we're going to go through this and I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try to do the same system. oils than I do serums. 
Um, and a big portion of why I want to do it this way is because first of all, I want to be able to see what I have and if shit's piled on top of each other, um, I can't really do that. Uh, now obviously in the baskets, stuff's kind of piled on top of each other, but it's at, it's to a much lesser degree, if that makes sense. Um, and then also because I feel like this, like this drawer full, like this is enough toner and hydration sprays. I don't need more than that. Like if it can't fit, it, it's got to go, you know, and having so many products, like I understand I'm in a really lucky situation, but having so many products gets so overwhelming. And so, you know, as new things come in, as I purchase new things or I get them in subscription boxes, I need to make sure we're either using them or donating them or something immediately um, because I don't want I don't want it to exceed its storage space. Right. Because then I'm not containing the products. The products are containing me. And I want to make sure that we stay true to that. OK, so I'm going to do oils in the back here. Um, I've got some teamy tea infused oils. I actually do really want to try these. I am going to keep these. I'm trying to pick ones out that like I know I want to keep. This is the high, high expectations cannabis facial oil. I do want to try that out. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Maybe I'll put that over there. Um, I have the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I want to keep that one. That one though might actually go to the side because that might have enough room. This Good Molecules Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Oil. I really want to try this. I haven't gotten to try it yet, so I'm going to be keeping that one. The Elemis Peptide 4 Night Recovery Cream Oil. Definitely keeping that one. The Model Off Duty Beauty Squalene Rosehip Camilla Youth Illuminating the youth illuminating face oil um this one is was a pr sample and i actually really liked it but i haven't gotten a chance to use like the whole thing yet so i will be keeping that one as well the kahina argan oil i'm keeping that for sure the clarity glimmer of hope shimmering facial oil this one i think i'm gonna go ahead and pass along these two came from subscription boxes but i'm really interested in trying them out so i'm gonna keep those okay then i have the skin essence rose hip seed oil i actually really want to try this one out too so i'm gonna hang on to that uh, the Rain Organics I Am Enough Facial Oil. I'm going to hang on to that. The Beauty Bakery Wake and Bake Baking Oil for your face. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping that for sure. And then I have another Lolly one that I'm going to keep. This Fortune Cookie Soap Witch's Wart. I'm going to go ahead and pass along. Okay, so now we need to go through serums. I have a lot more serums than I do oils. So I've got some good molecules serums um i'd like to keep these i like these serum kind um these i was really excited about when i first got them but they've been in my collection for a little while now so i'm gonna go ahead and pass these along drunk elephant b hydra intensive uh hydration serum i'm gonna be keeping that one and then i also have these two the c for a day serum and the tlc night serum i'm gonna be keeping both of those I have some Sunday Riley CEOs and the A+. I'm going to be keeping all of these because I love my Sunday Rileys. I have a couple glow recipe ones, the Pineapple C Bright Serum and then the Plum Plum Pyloronic Serum. I really want to try out both of these, so I'm going to be keeping both of these. Oh, here's another A plus from Sunny Riley. Um, I have a couple from the Cottage Greenhouse, the Pomegranate Rejuvenating Facial Serums. So I'm going to be keeping both of these. The Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I'm going to be keeping that. The Murad Vito C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I'm going to be keeping that one. Aloha Youth Serum. I'm going to be keeping that one. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Booster Serum. I hate this packaging so much. I'm going to pass that one along. And then I have the Milk Makeup. This is the Melatonin Overnight Serum. You guys, I hate this packaging. I also have these. Two over here um for milk i have the matcha detoxifying face mask and the matcha toner i've so i've tried these masks before and they're cool but they get really gross towards the end and honestly this packaging it's just not for me um i don't like it these products are always very dry i feel like and i'm just like they're brand new i'm not gonna mess with that i'm just gonna go ahead and pass them along because someone else will definitely get more use out of them than I feel like I will. I have the Sensuals Radiance Facial Serum. I'm gonna hang on to that. This is the Awake Glow Pill Serum. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to this because I really wanna try that. The Biro Bell Pepper Serum. I'm gonna hang on to that. I have some Fourth Ray Beauty and then the Graydon Full Moon Serum. I'm gonna hang on to all three of these. And I feel like all of that like fits in there really nicely. Um, I can show you an overview of the drawer. I feel like it all fits really nicely and it's all nice and organized and I feel like that's good. That's a good amount of serums and oils. That's a lot. I will definitely acquire more before I get through all of these. So I think now's a good time to stop. So let me show you the ones that I'm going to go ahead and pass along. The Jane Iridale Beauty Prep, the Nuco The Pill All-in-One Serum, the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid Serum, the Farsali Quench, 
the Earthwise Napa in the Meadow, and the Dime Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Can I just say, I feel like this drawer looks like a rainbow, and that was never, like, intentional. I have no idea why it looks like that. Um, but this drawer is moisturizers and eye creams, so let's do it. Okay, for this drawer, because there's so much stuff in here, there's moisturizers, sunscreens, eye creams, etc. And I don't exactly know how I want to organize it. We're going to do one round where I just go through everything and get rid of the stuff I know I don't really care about. And then we'll see how everything kind of fits back into the drawer. Okay, so this is most of it. Um, I have my other stuff that's from like the shit that don't fit bag and that's just sitting on top of the thing over there. Uh, I'll get to that in a couple of minutes. But right now we're going to focus on this stuff because this is the stuff that didn't get put into the shit that don't fit bag even though it really doesn't fit so let's take a look here I know for sure this I cannot pronounce the name of it but I know I want to keep it so I'm gonna put that back in there this QMS ace vitamin day and night cream I don't really care about it it can go the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream um yeah I want to try this out so badly I've tried out a little sample of it and I loved it so I'm keeping it Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizing cream Oh shit. The seal is broken. I'm passing it along. I'm probably gonna throw this one out to be honest with you. The Kinship Self Reflect Sunscreen. I'm keeping that. Sunday Riley Title. I'm keeping that. The Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. I'm keeping that. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti Wrinkle Moisturizer. I do like this, but this packaging is huge. So I'm gonna keep this, but it's gonna be on a trial basis. I'm gonna have to see how much room I actually have. This is the, this is actually an eye cream. This is the Crepe Erase Flaw Fix eye, eye Cream. You guys, this packaging is too big. I don't like it. I'm gonna pass it along. I gotta be petty here, okay? I have so many of these Murad, the Skin Perfecting Lotion, the Essential C Day Moisture. I've got another Skin Perfecting Lotion. I've got another Skin Perfecting lotion. I do like these though. Uh, I'm gonna keep these. Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I just got this. I'm keeping it. This is the Avant Intensive Redensifying Glycolic Acid Day Moisturizer. Y'all, this stuff is so expensive and honestly, eh, I don't really care. I'm passing it along. The Hanua uh, Skincare Moonlit Glow Balm. Yes, please. I'm keeping that. The Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Dew Cream. Um, Mario, Mario Badescu's products, I'm kind of over. Like, I used to have a lot of them. I've been trying to use them up, and I really don't care about them anymore because it's so much alcohol is in here, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of over it, so I'm going to pass that along. The 111 Skin Y Theorem Day Cream. I really want to try this. I'm going to keep that. I also have the Cryo Activating Hydro Gel. I'm going to keep that. The Sahajan Nourish Cream. I don't remember ever seeing this before. I'm going to pass this along. I don't know if this came in. A, I'm assuming this came in a subscription box, but I don't recognize it at all. <sighs> what is this? Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. Okay, this I actually kind of do want to try, but this is, again, it's going to be a maybe, depending on how much room I have. The Sensuals radiance eye cream this is massive this is an eye cream oh my god passing it along um the first aid beauty ultra repair oil control moisturizer oh i don't know i also have the ultra repair firming collagen cream this shit is just so thick but i really do like it i'm going to hang on to it for now i think this is oil control this is just regular we'll see how much room i have the charlotte tilbury magic cream yeah i'm keeping that i'm not doing very well here am i uh, oh, the Volition Celery Green Cream. A lot. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to get rid of more of this. The Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk. This, I don't know. This looks weird. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. It looks like it's starting to separate, so I'll probably end up trashing that. The Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. That can go. It's so funny. I get so, like, not attached to eye creams. Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. I really want to use that. The Pharmacy Daily Greens. Yes. The Kahina Facial Lotion, yes. These three, as much as I like them all, um, I'm going to pass them along. Okay. There's something at least, right? And then I've got eye creams as well. Oh, no. I was sitting on this. This is the item light sauce. I actually really want to try that. I've got eye creams. Let's talk about eye creams, y'all. Okay. The Tula Glow Hour. Um, this is the brightening and neutralizing eye balm. I actually am using like the blue version right now in the mornings and I freaking love it. Earth Harbor Aqua Aura. This also looks like it's separating and I know that these are natural products so they go bad a lot quicker but you know again keep that in mind. I don't want to have a whole bunch in stock so I'm going to pass that along. The Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. Amazing. Keeping it. 
the Drunk Elephant uh, Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I want to keep that. The Verify 2020. I want to keep that. The Sembisis London Hyaluronic Acid Tightening and Re Re Resplendent Eye Mask. Oh my God, no! I can't even. I can't even say it. No. Pharmacy uh, Cheer Up. I want to keep the Skin and Co Truffle Therapy Eye. I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. I'm also gonna go ahead and pass along the Malin and Goetz Revitalizing Eye Gel and this that I cannot pronounce. All three of those are gonna go. And I, I do want to try out this Hey Honey. I just got this and I think an Ipsy bag and I really want to try it out. Okay. Are these all the eye creams that I'm keeping? That's actually not that bad. Like I don't feel like that's like, I feel like that's a good amount of eye creams, right? I feel like that's appropriate. Is that really all the eye creams that I'm keeping? And honestly, like looking at this, this does not look like a lot of moisturizers. What am I missing? I have to be missing something. The only shitty part about <laughs> storing your moisturizers in cute little rows like this is um, you have to have enough product so that they don't roll. I see that you've got two rows of the pots and then you've got eye creams right here and then I've got two little baskets that are left over and I could even squeeze a couple more things in there if I needed to I like it and this is much more man manageable this is still like way too many sunscreens and moisturizers and eye cream but this is better than it was and I'm very happy with it now we've got masks you guys know I have a huge mask problem so again I'm just gonna pull them all down let's see what we've got here okay obviously there are masks upstairs that I'm currently using um, there are some masks that didn't fit in the store to begin with so whew, we're gonna go through these first um, the Pharmacy Honey Potion, I really want to keep this. I love this. I love Pharmacy, so that's going to be a yes, and we're going to try to figure it out when we get there. This is the Feel Harmony Rose Petal Face Mask. I also have the Restored Self-Warming Clay Mask. I actually really like these. I want to keep both of those. The Kinship Mint Mud, this one I have used before. Oh, I love it. I want to keep this one. The Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. I'd like to keep. This Lather Honey Propolis Mask, honestly, I think I'm just going to pass this one along. It just doesn't excite me. It doesn't bring me joy. Oh, the One Kind Porfectionist. I'd like to keep this. Um, this is the Kahina Moisture Mask. I'd like to keep this. The Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I'd like to keep this. Uh, the Cottage Greenhouse. I've got a couple of their masks. I've actually used up a full size of their mask before. This is the Papaya and Honeysuckle mask. And then the Orange Blossom and Honey, I've used up a full size before. And I freaking love this mask. And I want to keep this one. The Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow mask. I'm going to pass that one along. The Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple mask. This is a really good mask. I like this one. I'm going to keep that. The Grown Alchemist Deep Cleansing Facial mask. Hell yes. Grown Alchemist is so good. The Dutch Dirt mask from Bloom Effects. I didn't hear great things about this. I'm going to pass this one along. Florence by Mills. This is the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. Uh, I want to keep this because I really want to try it. I really like peel off masks too. This is the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. I really want to keep that. Hey Honey, Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. I actually really like these. I'm going to keep that one. I have these masks that I was gifted. Um, this one is starting to separate though, so I'm going to pass this one along. This one I think I'll keep... Oh, I need to use this up soon though. And then this one I really did like. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to pass this one along. Skin Essence Facial in a Jar. I really want to try this. I just got that and I really want to try it. The Too Faced Pineapple Glow. You guys, I will say I love Too Faced like Instagrammable masks. I think they're super cute. I want to keep that. The Andalou Naturals Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. I want to pass this one along. And I'm also going to pass along this Cacao Mousse. Both of those can go. Um, the Milk Cannabis Hydrating Face Mask. I know, and I bought this because I liked the other one so much. It was actually a really good mask. I, I can't get over the packaging though. Like I've had it for a while and I cannot, I don't want to use it because I hate the packaging so much. I'm gonna pass that one along. The Pacifica Sea Purify Bal Balancing Clay Mask. I'd like to try that one. I will keep that one. The OC Red Algae Mask. This is starting to separate. I'm gonna pass this one along. Valley of the Light. Oh, I can't. I can't get this one open, so I'm going to pass that along. <laughs> Don't judge me. 
Um, this is the Huana mask. This is starting to... I'm going to keep this for now. I don't know how long this is going to last, though, because it feels like it's starting to separate, but I'm not 100% sure. We're going to keep it for now, though. Um, the Rain Organica Firefly Facial Mask. Love it. And then the Kahina Antioxidant Mask. Keeping. Okay, now I've got these. This Summer Friday mask was like a FabFitFun or an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm or something like that. And I heard that this batch was bad, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that out. Formula 10.0.6 Bee Berry Radiant. Oh, I'm going to pass, pass it along. We're going to pass it along. And then I've got these. So this is the Perfect Rose Gold Peel Off Mask, the Skincare by Makeup Drop, Super Silver Haze Purifying Face Mask, and the Grace and Stella Face Mask. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This one is really good. It helps remove blackheads. It's a blackhead removing mask. It's so good. I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. I managed to make it all fit. So here's the thing. I've cut my masks probably like in half, right? And even with this smaller amount of masks with a short full of masks, I use a mask three times a week. This will take me so long to get through, especially because obviously masks are really popular in subscription boxes. This is plenty. Like this is a lot. Okay, we're good. I'm done. Thank you. So now I've got this drawer. This is this is just a random drawer. Um, it's got like a bunch of random products in it and I hate the way this is organized. So I'm gonna pull everything out and let's go declutter. I actually don't know how many things in this I'm going to end up decluttering in this drawer. Um, so let's take a look, I guess, to see what we have. I've got eye patches. Um, I use eye patches every day. I have a couple from Good Molecules, and then I've got the ones from Generation Skin that I freaking love that I get from the BoxyCharm pop-up sales. I'm keeping all of these because um, I will use all of them. Um, okay, so the other stuff in here, I've got some sleep masks, and of course I just bought some from the BoxyCharm sale. Uh, the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I actually do want to keep that. The Skin-esque Deep Sleep Overnight Mask. I feel like this is really old, is it? Oh, I guess not. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, um, yeah, I'll keep that. The Corez uh, Black Pine 3D, I'm gonna keep that one. The Bliss Green Tea Wonder, I'm gonna keep that one. The Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol, I'm gonna keep that one. This is the 100% Pure Retinol Restorative Overnight Balm. This is like really thick, um, and I like it, but I don't think I'd like it on my face. I'll pass this one along, and then I'm going to pass off the Metal It 4-in-1 uh, Radiance Face Gel, too. Both of those can go. Um, I have a couple of these Sunday Riley Good Jeans, so I also have, like, kind of miscellaneous skin booster overnight products. This is the Acure Resurfacing Overnight Glycolic Treatment. This one I'll go ahead and pass along. This is the Drunk Elephant A Pashini Retinol Cream. I'm going to keep that one. The Wander Beauty Do Not Disturb Overnight Repair Concentrate. That one I'm going to keep. I'm going to pass along these Pixie Essences and then this Beauty Stat Skin Refiner. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm just going to pass them along. I don't know. And then I've got these essences. This is the Saturday Skin Daily Dew Hydrating Essence Mist and then the Sunday Riley Pink Drink. I'm going to keep both of these. And then I have three of the 100 or 111 Skin um, Boosters and I'm going to keep those too. So this drawer becomes kind of like a miscellaneous skincare drawer, I guess. Maybe, apparently. It's just a bunch of random stuff. Essences, I feel like I go through in the shortest, like... It takes me the longest to go through them. But then how do I store sleep masks? I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I should change that or what, but I don't know if I like that. I guess for right now I can deal and then I can change it later if I want to. Okay, so now up here I've got other skincare. Um, I'm going to put it all in the basket and we'll go through it down here because that's much easier. Oh no, I dropped one. So now we've got, oh my god, a bunch of random skincare. It's just, it's random. So we're just going to go through this. And the stuff that I want to keep, um, I'll put in this little basket and we can try to see if we've got room for it or not. Okay, this is huge. This is the Green Caviar Comfort Balancing Facial Toner. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. 
Um, this is 16.9 fluid ounces. I don't even know where I got this from. Uh, but it's it's very large, and I don't care about it enough. Honest Beauty Even Brighter Everyday Moisturizer, that can go. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Uh, I am going to keep these, but I'm going to focus on using them up. The Freck Rich Bitch. I want to use this so badly, you guys, but this is 3.6 ounces. Like, that's insane. I would never be able to use this by the time it went bad. I'm going to pass it along so someone can start using it at least. The Humphreys Witch Hazel Toner. I'm going to pass that along. The Sunday Riley Martian. This has a really bad smell to it. I'm gonna pass it along. Um, I Do Care Disco Kitten. This is the Illuminating Diamond Peel-Off Mask. This one I am gonna keep. The Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum. I'm gonna pass it along. I bought it, I never used it. This is the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. I've heard such great things about it, but this packaging annoys the ever-living shit out of me, so I'm gonna pass it along. Ole Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. I really wanna try this, so I'm gonna keep that. More First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I'm gonna keep those. Um, we've got a Gold Fadden MD Serum, a Way of Will Serum, and a Cure Mask, a Pure Lease Mask, a Derma Medicine Sunscreen. All of these I'm gonna go ahead and pass along. A couple of moisturizers, this Sleeping Mask. I'm gonna pass all of these along. This is, okay, I actually really do want to try this. I know it's got a pump top, but I really want to try it. This is the Florence by Mills Spotlight Toner. I really want to try that. Okay. I have a bunch of these masks. You guys, this is from the shit that don't fit. This is, there's a neck mask and then biocellulose sheet masks for breasts from One Beauty. I hate these so much. I'm going to pass those along. I can't use them anymore. Um, this is the Naked and Thriving Renew Resurfacing Night Serum. I've tried this out and I don't like it. I'm going to pass it along. First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. I have had this for so long. It's expired. I'm throwing it out. Um, One Love Organic Love and Charcoal Charcoal Mask. I am keeping this one because I want to use it. The Bliss Pore Patrol Deep, Tox, Deep Detox for Clay Souffle Mask. I really want to use that too. I'm going to keep that. The Rain Organica First Light Day and Night Lotion. I think this one I'm going to pass along. And then this is the Dew Mighty. Oh, uh, it's like a serum, but it's like a little thing, and then you add water to it. I'm going to keep that because I want to try it. Okay, I feel like that's good. We got rid of most of the stuff, actually, that was, um, like, in this little category. So, all in all, I think that that was a good declutter day. I have a huge pile of skincare. Like, this is so much skincare that I'm ending up decluttering. Uh, I'll post a picture of it on Instagram. It'll probably end up being my thumbnail, too. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, I feel like I'm really happy with the skincare that I decluttered, and I really love the way that my drawers are looking now. I will be updating the shit that don't fit lists. Um, and I will be giving you an update as far as to how that project has changed since this declutter in the next update video. And that's all I've got for today. So I have a few more things that I need to like go through and declutter and organize. I'll probably end up filming that and uh, you know, cause I, I wanna do my perfumes. I wanna do like this little section. You guys can't see, but it's this little section over here. Um, I need to do my nail drawers and everything. So I'll probably end up filming that and it'll just be like, you know, the last declutter, whatever of this series anyways. Okay, so thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me and I'll catch y'all next Next time have a good one bye bye why do I do that why do I bye